Hello everyone, how are you doing guys? This is Jordan and it's time for our Forex Triple B weekly summary. Previous week uh, didn't provide too many interesting opportunities, at least according to our list and the things we were following. Basically the week started from the 19th up until the 23rd, which means we are going to be looking at these four examples right here in the table. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out um, the things we have in the table. First one is gold. And for gold, uh, the situation is kind of obvious. Bullish, bullish on the higher time frames. This is the 15 minute chart. At that point, I don't think we have any moving average divergences. I don't think we have any divergences on this one or that one, maybe only from here, right? But it would be better in these kind of scenarios to go ahead and check out the higher time frames to, to be precise and see exactly what's happening. But in the first glance, it looks good. Um, so we said we were in a strong bullish trend on the higher time frames, and we can clearly see that from the price action. The price is simply pushing up after every pullback, which means it might be a very good idea to look for the buys. Uh, on the other hand, the price on the last push down, it managed to create something which reminds a consolidation in terms of the triangle structure here. We can also see level one, level two being there. We can also see two more levels slightly higher. And this is the actual part which I don't like. This is the only thing I don't like about this setup. But everything else looks legit, right? If we take a look at this thing, uh, in terms of structures, that would be a breakout already, okay? In terms of the triple B rules, of course, this is where uh, you get the bounce to the Bollinger Band cloud and then the push to the upside breaking the zone. But again, looking at it from another perspective as a triangle, it's good. Also, as we mentioned, we have a good level. Daily pivot, daily resistance tree, all that counts in the same zone. Right, so the price is going bouncing first time, bouncing second time, and now we start to look at breakouts to the upside. So overall, in my opinion, that would be making sense here. Um, next, Ethereum. Now, Ethereum with this spike is a bit hard to read in terms of structures and cycles, but ignoring this uh, price action here, let's see what else do we have on the chart. Now, first of all, this is the one hour chart, which means we are looking at the four hour and daily as the two higher time frames, which are suggesting that we're in a strong bullish trend. That means any pullback that you have with a breakout above the given uh, the most recent fractal that will be created there means a bullish opportunity, right? Now to the current situation, well, the current from previous week, first of all, levels. You know how much I love levels and how much I rely on them. Daily pivot, weekly pivot, both of them coming here and we can see the price broke below, retest one, retest two, holding below it, right? And then we're breaking the zone and now this, what used to be a resistance becomes our support. So we're going there, testing it, breakout to the upside and we're looking for potential mm -hmm. bullish continuation. Right? Very, very simple, very clean. Um, you can also be dropping the large trend line from this bigger structure right here. And we will see that the price is actually attempting to break above and if you are part of the team uh, in Traders Academy Club, you probably know, sorry about that, you probably know about the conservative trend line breakout principles, which I'm teaching and trading myself pretty much on a daily basis, which would be confirmed here as well. So there we have it, another confirmation. Of course, if you're looking at this one alone, this will be also a breakout for you, right? I mean, with this massive candle, pretty much everything we can uh, figure out in terms of breakouts here, it would be triggered. 
this high, this trend line, this trend line, whatever it is, it will be triggered, right? Which is good because if you think about it, there are many people who are going to be trading this trend line, this trend line, this high, uh, bounces from horizontal levels. All of them will be pushing the price to the upside if their um, orders are being triggered. Then we have cable and for cable, here is the situation. First of all, one hour chart again, which means we're looking at H4 and daily. Bullish trend, bullish momentum and triple we started confirming from that moment on, which means pullbacks here would be actually a good, decent place to start looking for the buys. Uh, we have quite a few levels very close to each other, right? But the very first thing I would like to look for is the weekly levels. Here is my first level, here is my second level. And what we can see is that the price actually came to this zone, retest, immediate bounce. That could be also classified here as a double wave structure, which means if this is a pullback, we have a breakout to the upside of this ABC. So horizontal level, breakout, right? And uh, the last time we were touching the bottom cloud, it would be giving us this fracture right here as breakout zone, which is not ideal. And I would probably be skipping this part because now at this moment, you will have uh, the weekly level, the daily level and the previous daily level. That's three levels coming at the same zone right here. And if I'm going to be trading, I'll definitely look for the price to break, pull back, and only then start the attacks. I would not be buying right in front of this resistance. Okay. Um, I guess that's pretty much all right. On the four hour chart, no divergences. We're actually looking at potential bullish hidden divergence here, one of these bars closes. So, I mean, I know now when we're looking back at it retrospectively, it's very easy to say, but this is kind of clear and obvious, right? I'm not trying to make myself the, the superhero, the super trader here. It's only logical. This is a super strong zone. So if you want to be attacking it, you need to see the price breaking above and then continuation, right? Same story here. That's your level. Once the price, so let's say you get, for some reason, you got a buy here or here somewhere. Definitely wait for the price to break and then during the pullback, go ahead and buy, right? It makes a bit more sense. Otherwise, how do you know this is not going to bounce to the downside, right? I mean, there are no, uh, no um, guarantees in trading, but all these things, they will be helping you to achieve better results. And when you have 10% improvement here, 10% improvement there, at the end of the day, when you draw the line, you will be doing much, much better following all these little small tips. Now, next one on the chart is Euro Pound. And here again, we're kind of um, falling into consolidation pattern rather than ABC corrective pattern because we actually don't have a new low here, right? So it might be considered like this for some, but I'm personally looking at it as something like this, right? And the price is going up and down. Now, let's see what do we have starting from the top 15 minute chart, which means daily, uh, sorry, one hour and four hour charts are bullish for us, that's good. This is where the higher time frames got in agreement. So from that point on, we start looking for the buys. Um, besides that, this doesn't look too good. I'll definitely go ahead and check out how and what do we have on the higher time frame, whether we have divergence or not. Okay. Then we have levels. And again, we're looking at weekly level and we're looking at some other daily levels on the way. But overall, that zone seems to make sense, right? One, two, three levels here. And this is where the price is actually bouncing. This is where also where the price stopped. 
and then it broke. Now we're holding. Okay, so as long as this thing holds, I think it makes also sense to look for bullish continuation, even if we look at it in, in terms of pure price action without any other confirmations here on the chart. So I think your pound makes a lot of sense and that's actually the full list. So if you have any questions or you would like to discuss something else in terms of Forex Triple B, please find us in the dedicated Telegram group or leave a comment below and we'll be glad to reply. Have a good week and thank you for watching.